Hey everyone, it's me, JB. We are in week 45, and as we go deeper, we are taking it back to week 19, where our verse came from Jeremiah 29:11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Live with hope. Well, here we go. So if you watched um, week eight, um, week 19 of the actual Live in Hope, um, you will see that this one, this one too is like a really, like it's like a difficult one because some people just, it's just, people think of hope as like a happy thing. And I think it's just, it's so much more than that. And I think it, it, it stems from the core and the being of the person and also your well-being and your health. A lot of times people who, when you fall into this place of not having hope, it can really take you to some really, really dark places. And so this is one that definitely we need to go deeper on. So my first question to you is, do you have hope? And I think that a lot of people have hope in some things, but in other things they don't. They can have hope in you know, their kids' future and stuff like that, but they don't have hope in their own future. Or they can have hope in some areas and not in other areas. But the thing is, is that God wants us to have hope in our whole life because he, he wants us to understand that He has plans for us. And He wants us to understand that those plans are to give us hope in a future. And so He wants us to find hope in all aspects of our life. So do you have hope? Do you really truly have hope in, in yourself, in your future, in the things that you want to accomplish, in the things that you want to do, in, in the way that you live your life? And can you keep the hope for the plans that God has for you? And knowing that this is not something that is just a verse that's in the Bible, that he is telling you that he knows the plans that he has for you and they are for hope in the future. Can you keep that and can you hold on to that? Can you hold on in those moments where you are feeling like nothing is going right, nothing is ever going to be right? Can you hold on to the fact of knowing that God has a plan and his plan is pure and his plan is perfect and it will give you hope and a future and just holding on to that because sometimes that's all we have. All we can do is hold on to that word of God. So can you hold on to that hope, even in those moments where you feel like all hope is lost? And the last question that I really want to bring up to you, and it's, 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 I guess I have some form of this question in a lot of different weeks. Um, but for me, it's just basic. And this is what I think a lot of times is what does hope cost you? It costs you absolutely nothing. To have hope in yourself and hope for your future it doesn't cost you anything to have hope and so why not draw that from God why not understand that he has these plans and keep your hope in those things because it doesn't cost you anything you're not gonna at the end of the day go doggone it I wish I wouldn't have spent my hope like that is just not going to happen so it's one of those things that you can just, you know, sometimes you got to fake it till you make it. And so just keep on having that hope and knowing, just telling yourself, you know what, Lord, I know that you have a plan for me and I am going to just keep this up. So it's one that we're going to go deeper on. It's one that we're going to explore a little bit more, even in a world where we see so many things that happen and so many crazy things that we're going to try to hold on to that hope and and realize that God has a plan for us. So as we continue to live at peace in strength with faith, in perseverance without complaining to listening to listen without anger, without fear, with patience and love, with humility and joy, at rest with integrity, with compassion, in kindness, with self-control, with wisdom and with hope. Woo! And now we're going to go deeper.